Hi my friend and welcome to my tutorial. My name is Moala and in this tutorial I want to speak about XUI views. You can check this topic. XUIs, they are wonderful views and you really need to check them. You can see some of them here and the list of them. I want to speak about one of them which is before X dialogue. I think that in all your project, maybe you need before X dialogue. It's very helpful. So the good point about XUI views is that if you try to use them, then you can have cross platform views and you can use your project in before J, before Android and before iPhone. So it's better to use them. So now I want to speak about one of them. When you activate this library, you have the list of all of them. Now I want to speak about, uh, let's name that dialogue. I want to speak about this one, B4X dialogue. Very straightforward library. It's very simple. So let's try it. First of all, I need to initialize that. It's better to initialize it here, but it's okay. It says, I need one parent. If that was normal activity like this one, I would type activity like this, like this one. But now here, this one works instead of activity. So I type root. This way I can initialize this dialog inside this class, which is pages. I can show, let me have more space here. I can show normal text message and I can show custom view and I can use one template. I will speak about other options maybe later. So let me use this one. First, it needs a text. So I say, for example, hello world. And then yes, no, and cancel. Let's type them all like this and cancel. Okay. This is the project. As you see, I have one message here. And that is in the center, one yes button, no button, and cancel button. If you don't want one of them, for example, I need only okay. You can leave them empty. For example, let's remove this one. Just make it empty. And again, you see, you know, it was here, now it's here, and no is here. I don't need no, for example, and I only need one okay. As you see, it's only one okay. You can have one title here. So this is a simple way that you can use it. But if you want to add other things, for example, title. For example, a message. Now you have one title. The other things that I want to tell you is making that center align and colorizing this message, this dialogue. First, let's speak about the color. You can change the color of this part title and here and here. Let's do that. But before that, we need two colors. For that one, I want to use this website. It's wonderful website. So that is colors.co, but you have double O here. I really like this. And here. 
it gives you variety of colors together. You only need to uh, click on a space. Then you will have other colors. Then, for example, we like one of these colors. Let's choose one of them. For example, this one. For example, you like it. Okay, click on this one. Then hit a space again. Other colors will change except this one. So maybe you say this color and this color, okay? And then you can copy this by this one. There are other things here. Uh, okay, let's use this color only. Um, I want to copy this by this one. I can copy hex color. And here, I want to paste it. Okay, now the color is the same. This button can give you shade. For example, here I choose another darker color, maybe this one. And here I choose lighter, like this. Or maybe lighter, this one. Okay, these two colors together. So this website will help you to um, have better colors. It gives you nice suggestion. Okay. Now I want to take this color. Let me copy it. And let's go back to here. Uh, for example, I want to change this part. What is the color? The color is this one. So I copy this. And here I say dialog.tida. Mm, what was that? Yes, this one. And you can paste. But you see this red line because it needs something in the beginning. If you forgot that, you can here, you can right click and choose color pickle. And here, these four letters, 0xff. You need to 0xff. You need to add it before hex colors. Let's run it again. As you see, I have that color now. Now I want to give color to other parts. But before that, I want to save it inside one variable. So dim integer, because that is integer, this one. It's not all digits, but uh, after all, that is an integer. So I can say dark uh, color as integer this is camel case of naming one variable in the beginning the type of variable then the other words the beginning of each word is capital they call it uh, camel case and you can make it equal to this one dark color this way mm, this is not a number but it's okay you know this environment will change that into a number. If you try to log it, you will see the real number. But it's okay, we don't need to uh, pay attention to this one. This is the real number of this color. And I need another color. Let's duplicate this. For light color. And my color will be this one okay 0xff and then that hex number so let's have it for this part what was that dialog dot um, background color equal to integer light color Let's try it. Very nice. But we need dark color for this part because now this is light and we need contrast. In graphic, they tell you that you need contrast for all parts of your application. Not all parts, but it's better to have contrast for main parts of your application. So, and here, I think even this border we can, so 
dialog dot text color body text color we need dark color and dialog border that was something yes this one int dark color yes you see the border is dark and this one and even this one you can change that you can customize each part of this dialog it's great isn't it so i want to change button color and text color maybe this one uh okay dialog um text color what was that button color yes we need dark color for this one and dialog um button text color i forgot that yes this one int uh, light color yes now it looks better one graphical point before continuing the tutorial is try to use only one color sometimes we use secondary color but it's better to use one color and then different shade of that color as you see here different shade of one color for example if this is my main color then i can use different shade of that one okay normally i try to use that in one code module then i can change that by this one because i have light color in my application and dark color and secondary color and we in one code module i can change the color of all parts of my application okay now what i want to do is making that center aligned because in some languages they want right align and sometimes you need center align okay let's see how to do it now let's see how to make this one center align first of all you need to have access to this view you have access to all parts of this dialog to this button to this panel and inside that there is one text view and this one how this way dialog dot base then you need to know the index of that view this is number zero and this is number one and this is number two so there are three it starts from zero because that is index zero one two so if i say number two and i try if i try to log it i will be that is one panel okay this is one panel okay anyway if you have other buttons then this one will be number four let's see for example you have no button and you have cancel button now this is zero one two three four so i said here two it will be this one and i can change that for example the text of that one this way or color or other parts of that like this You see, I changed this one, zero, one, two. So now I want to have access to this one. Okay, let's emit them. And even this one and this one. Now I need to have access to this one. How? Like this. Let's define one uh, before X view as before x views and we can make it dialog dot base dot get view but what number if i have other buttons like this then this one will be number four 
if I don't have them and I only have one button, then this one will be number two. The other way of typing that is this one dialog dot base dot number of views. So it doesn't matter whether that is five views or three views. I want to say the last one because it's always the last one. It starts from here, 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 and the last one is this one. Now I have what? This one, this panel. And inside this panel, there is one text view. So I can say content dot get view. Why again? Because this is one panel. And inside that, there is one text view. So I can say the first one because there is only one view inside this panel. Text alignment. Yes, this one. And I can use, you know, vertical and horizontal. Most of them, I think it needs to be center. So I type and I think it needs to be capital. Okay, just this. And let's see. Okay, now this is center aligned. This way you can have access to other parts of this dialogue. For example, you can change the, for example, border of this one. And this one, this is one panel and inside that one label, I think. And this is one uh, panel again and one label again. And you can change them all in any way that you like. They are just normal views. And as you see, this dialogue is really customizable. And you can change that to any way that you like. Even you can use your own custom layout. I'm going to talk about it in another tutorial and see other options of dialogue before X dialogue. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed in my channel, subscribe in my channel. And if you like my tutorial to support me, hit on that like button.